Hey there, this is Gabriel, uh, PM of Runner SAS, today joined by Davis and Joe, two of our uh, SAS runner engineers, uh, walking you through to the 16.6 .6 iteration plan. Um, sharing my screen and the iteration plan. So as you might know, we've recently, uh, hopefully just um, released Mac OS J, which we have been working on in 16.5 and are now looking towards 16.6. Uh, .6. uh, the biggest two topics we're working on is first of all, um, building out templates to support GitLab Dedicated. The GitLab Dedicated is our single tenant uh, SaaS solution uh, where customers can use fully managed GitLab instance um, that is single tenant. So that's going to be super exciting. And we are thinking or hoping to release hosted runners on the platform in, in Q4. And as a SaaS runner team, we are contributing by building out templates that make it easier. And as mentioned in some of the, the past talks we had, um, this is super exciting also because we eventually will reuse these templates um, for our own runner fleet and also potentially allow an open source then and allow for contributions. Um, next up is GitLab steps um, and then doc putting you autoscaler. And I'm handing over to Davis to walk you through some of the exact issues. Davis. Yep. So working on uh, the grit library, we have a Terraform library templates that are uh, serving as a single entry point for deploying runners. And so the main goal with these issues here is that we're building out an AWS fleeting plus manager infrastructure that will eventually go towards our dedicated runner implementations. Um, so Grit supports that. Grit is GitLab runner infrastructure toolkit. And these particular issues will be establishing a template for deploying runner managers in AWS. They're directing jobs to auto scaling groups that are controlled by our auto scaling and fleeting mechanisms that we've just built this year. And we'll be using images that we've built and we'll be providing that could be used as part of the template. Super cool. Cool. Thank you. I, I just opened up the, the sub epic for it and this kind of shows um, how it's going to look like and going to be super easy to kind of take this as a customer and spin up runners. Uh, so yeah, we're very excited about this. I mean, the idea there is you could run that module and you would get a fleeting setup with all of your machines ready to go that has your runner pointed at them and that's it. Easy peasy. Oh. Easy peasy. You want to mention the AMI quickly as well? Oh, yeah. That's, uh, as I was mentioning, the image that we're building that we'll provide that will be used as part of the template, that this will go into the ephemeral machines. Cool. Perfect. Joe, you want to give some insights on steps? Sure. Um... Steps, the general idea is to create composable workflows, um, pieces that you can reuse and can share through a catalog. The work that we're doing this iteration isn't um, anywhere near like a catalog, but it is sort of what's going to be a minimum viable something. <laughs> and uh, it'll be something that you can actually run in production that actually will do some work that you can actually like try out. It's kind of like a, a preview just to get like get this thing in people's hands to find out what they say about it. Um, and uh, I'm hoping by the end of this iteration, I'll be able to um, have some code you could take a look at, something that runs in production, something you can actually build with um, and get some meaningful feedback. It's the first smallest useful piece of work. Um, I'm spending a little bit more time on this than I had previously thought just to try to get it to that MVC point. Um, so yeah, stand by for more on that. I'll record a video once something, uh, um, uh, probably within the next week, I'll probably produce a video showing how this thing works. Cool. Oh, super exciting news on the steps front. Um, thank you. And then last up, um, dark footing your autoscaler on internal runner fleet. Davis, if you want to give some more context on that, that would be great. Yeah, this is something that we've been working on and we're going to continue working on. It's 
uh, after we've introduced that auto scaling and fleeting mechanism that I mentioned as part of what we're using in GRIT, we are going to be uh, trying to use these new mechanisms in our Linux internal Linux fleets as well. We're already using them in our Mac OS offering. And like any dog fooding effort, this will allow us to ensure that the new mechanism is reliable and effective. And it allows us to demonstrate that we have confidence that it does what we say it does. Yeah, super exciting. Thank you. I think it's also the same time that the GCP plugin for fleeting goes uh, beta phase. So we're kind of well aligned on the on the two teams there uh, releasing them. Cool, thank you. A um, couple of other maintenance issues and bugs we're working on. Uh, yeah, thank you, Davis and uh, Joe, kicking off the iteration with me and then um, see you next time. Ciao.